Hey everybody, it's Lena Reyna and I just wanted to quickly come on here before you watch my 17th episode. Yay, I'm so excited. Um, I am currently editing this video that you are about to watch. It's four o'clock in the morning where I'm at. I'm tired and I'm exhausted, as you can imagine. I try to upload anywhere between one to two videos a week. Um, and just know that whenever you watch these videos, all of the episodes that you have seen on my YouTube are episodes that either I have reached out to the family or the family has reached out to me with their consent, wanting me to cover their story regarding their missing child. I try to cover all of that. I am no way, shape or form monetized through YouTube or any other social media. So thank you all so much for the amazing comments that you leave. I have never claimed to be like a documentary or an ID show. Um, I have read comments, uh, one or two, that have said that they've expected me to be like a documentary. I am not. I don't think anybody who does these are documentary anyway. So just please note that I do this on my own dime. When I travel to these places, I do this because I want to, because it's a passion of mine. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. If not, just please feel free to subscribe. Have a great night. Thanks, you all. Everybody, it's Lena Reyna and you are watching the what happened so today I've decided to do something just a little bit different my family and I are actually here visiting the Huntsville uh, Prison Museum and it is just amazing um, those of you who follow me watch me on YouTube know that I'm a huge crime junkie so um, if you're ever wanting to come visit this area or if you um, thinking about it I suggest you do so I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera and let you take you on a small tour um, from when you walk in until you exit so when you first walk in um, you pay a fee and usually it's like first responders pay five dollars military things like that and then if you're not any of those things you pay seven dollars kids six and under are free and then kids six and older pay uh, five dollars so it's very reasonable here um, they have amazing cool things uh, for you to purchase on the way in you watch a small video clip and then you begin your tour and you do it at your own rate so you don't have to follow anybody nope there's not a lot of people here so it's perfect you do have to wear your mask though during this covid time i'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera thank you all for watching selena reyna on the what happened don't forget to like and subscribe okay so another fun fact is that if you are interested in the crime of bonnie and clyde i would highly recommend come visiting here um, I know Las Vegas has a lot of fun things about like the mom museum with them too and they even have the original vehicle there um, in Las Vegas but here in Houston or here um, where we're at in Huntsville they do not have that they have the gun which uh, Clyde had um, and they have a lot of amazing things about Bonnie and Clyde and the history and how they let us be chased um, and he was actually held here at this Huntsville jail once upon a time and also checked into the hospital um, here as well so those are just amazing fun facts and um, they have all the information here and then they have some other things out there which I will be posting up here shortly and as everybody knows um, Bonnie was the ringleader she was the one who actually took um, Clyde out of jail originally and a few of his friends and that's when the chase began and when they caught up to them uh, they later on had uh, Clyde had a gun on him which the gun is actually held here in Huntsville for a short period of time I'm not sure for how long um, they do have a contract with the family so they were able to allow them to have it here so keep on watching
okay so this would actually open up the cell doors back in the old days now as a like a true crime person you can't help but wonder like i really wonder how many cells this thing open like how many of these and what a crime would they commit 26 20 no i think it's 20 yes, it's 26. so they would open up all 26 of them right one two and it's so forth but you can't help but wonder what crimes that they commit like you know which each person would do would it be minor would it be the crimes that we read earlier would it be like you know theft or would it be murder and mutilation and rape and killings and the bonnie and clyde and things like that because they have that here in this um here at this uh at the huntsville they have a lot of things of them so keep on watching okay so here is a demonstration also of the prison cell and normally they would allow people in here however due to this covid nobody is allowed in there Okay, so of course everybody knows Clyde, amazing story. This place is just amazing. It gives you all of the amazing things. That you can read about. Again, you go at your own pace. Nobody's rushing you. This is the Patriot Paw here. Basically demonstrates and tells you the importance of this. So right behind me is the actual electric chair as well that was used. It's really interesting. 1800 volts. Can you imagine? They actually probably should continue to do execution if you ask me more um, because the amount of money that is used here to keep prisoners in jail is just outrageous and those are things that you find out when you come here and you get sick because you're like all these pedophiles and rapists and people like that are in jail and are not being executed but yet using all of our money to pay for them here um, on an average day it costs about over 150 to 200 dollars to keep one person in jail so can you imagine times that by however many criminals there are it's just outrageous and disgusting if you ask me so keep on watching and so you can follow for some more fun things here we have where people are saying to stop the execution and then these are things that happened back in the old days again this is just all of a history museum um you know 
so it's really it's amazing it's fun i would highly recommend coming visiting and and just educating yourself and you would just be amazed and at the same time just like outraged like i am because i'm like how can we spend that much money for prisoners but yet we can't spend money on other things that really matter so Okay, everybody, thank you all so much for watching Selena Reyna on the What Happened. Again, if you're interested in cases or just the history of jails and the way the system is ran and everything else, then you would definitely, you will not be disappointed. It's very inexpensive to come. Bring your children. I brought mine. Um, there's obviously no food or drinks or anything like that sold in here. However, everything is just so fresh. It's sanitized. You wear your mask if you want to, like, of course, when you're speaking to somebody or just around yourself. Um, but it was just it's amazing overall experience. I would do it again I would highly recommend it and across the way too, they have horses um, And then they have the huge jail in Huntsville where the people that are convicted They're serving major time and so I'm gonna flip the camera over there so you can see what I see um, And again, thank you all so much for watching Selena Reyna on the what happened. Don't forget to like and subscribe Okay, so there it is there across the way that is the gel it's right there as you can see it it's not that far i can see it from where i'm standing and that is the largest uh gel for us <laughs> for us <laughs> let me make that clear i don't want people to come up here and commenting and saying other things but it was a great experience and next we will be going to see the horses